Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Stephen Bowers. Fire danger is up. Red flag warnings continue until 8 o'clock this evening. They're back again from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. After that, things do start to get a little bit better. Along with this, we should mention Mesa County has issued a uh, do not burn advisory. So it's not only a bad idea, it's technically illegal right now to burn in Mesa County. And the weather is a big player in this. Remember, a red flag warning means that weather conditions are favorable for fires to start and spread. And that includes the low humidity, that includes the gusty wind. That humidity is still in the single digit range. This just updated at the top of the hour and everybody's still looking at less than 10 percent humidity even with upper 80s to lower 90s the wind gusts are starting to ease back a little bit you've still reported a 32 mile per hour gust at the top of the hour around montrose and we've had some gusty winds but even these gusts today have come down a little bit from yesterday. They're going to come down a little bit more tomorrow, but I still expect that we can get some 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Then we have some bigger improvements, as I mentioned, and already we're starting to see some increase in cloud cover and even some rain just northwest of us. We fly out, take a look at the big picture here. There's a lot more rain. Now we're not going to get this rain, but if you follow the path of movement of this rain, there's a big area of low pressure kind of embedded within that. And what's going to happen is this area of low pressure is going to nudge away at this big hot high pressure ridge that's centered over Texas. And when it does, it's going to up the humidity a little bit. It's going to drop the temperatures a little bit too. Now I say we're not going to get any rain, but I want to show you our future cast because it actually disagrees with me to a degree. Watch what I'm talking about here. Through tonight we stay dry. Clouds will increase just north and northwest of us. Then as we warm up from about six o'clock to noon, we warm the humidity drops. These clouds go away. Then tomorrow afternoon we do get some showers that show up here on our future cast, mostly north of us over the hills, but we do have a couple that try to blow out over the Grand Valley tomorrow. Now, realistically, the chance for rain is smaller than 10%, but if we can get a shower going, the humidity way down low is so low that these are going to be dry showers or thunderstorms if they do happen, which means we don't get a lot of rain, but we can get the gusty wind and we can get some lightning from these dry thunderstorms. Lightning is not what we want, especially with the dry ground, uh, because that could actually spark another fire. Then tomorrow night, the clouds do start uh, increasing a little bit more appreciably. For now, though, we're under sun. It's a little hazy and it's still warm, but even warm, we're down to 90 degrees right now, and we're going to slowly cool through the 90s here for the next couple of hours, the next hour, and then down to about 88 degrees by 8 o'clock. The sunset happens at 844, and we'll cool a little bit more steadily after that, down to 82 by 9 o'clock, and then lows in the morning are mostly going to be in the middle 50s, especially from Delta and Montrose over to Nucla. Grand Junction maybe is a little bit warmer, around 60 degrees, and then Cortez is a little cooler with a low near 51. Then tomorrow, upper 80s and lower 90s are noticeably cooler, and when we cool, the humidity naturally comes up just a little bit. So that's going to be a big help in the firefight. In addition to the humidity starting to increase, the wind is going to back off on Friday, and we're going to cool a little bit more down to a high of about 89 degrees. Then we start warming, and that warming means the return of 80s for us next week. And that's going to come with some low humidity as well. So we're going to be watching for that fire danger to see if it increases.